by mid-June will be in a position that these bills now will be will pass on the second stage and the committee stage of parliament and then ultimately the third stage of so these tribunals will be enacted and transformed into law in Malta. And I think uh, most probably uh, we will be the first country in the world to have officially uh, legislation in place to offer uh, regulation in a space that today is unregulated. Establish the NDIA, another authority that will regulate platforms and, and smart contracts. The second bill will offer, so to speak, the framework on which the authority will operate. And the third bill will offer a regulatory regime for the intermediaries dealing with virtual currencies, that is, ICOs, brokers, world providers, etc. So that once mid-June uh, these bills will be enacted a little below, it will be just a plug-and-play situation, so we'll be able up and running immediately after this law will be enacted. So we're seeing projects which relate to registries, we're seeing projects which relate to health, projects which relate to other activities not uh, related to cryptocurrency and then yes obviously um, there are a lot of ICOs, a lot of exchanges, a lot of, of, of new ideas with virtual currencies. See we cannot be the blockchain island, we, cannot, we, we don't have an official date to, to, to have this gathering of all these players. In fact, as a matter of fact, in the next few days we we'll have our official uh, launch of the Delta Blockchain Summit in Malta. Uh, this will be the official government um, forum, so to speak, where all these stakeholders, all these big players operating in Malta will meet, we will showcase our work and more and more. That will be, uh, I think, a fantastic opportunity for uh, the blockchain people or the blockchain community and DLT uh, community to come here and, and, and participate and take uh, an active role, I, I would say, in, in this activity. It will be the first week of October, but more details will be announced soon. which is very robust. We have a very robust gaming industry, a uh, very good ICT infrastructure, um, good standard of living, beautiful country, beautiful place to stay, live and work. And now I think with this new niche economy, that is the blockchain and the whole sphere, the LT sphere, it will be the ideal setup and the natural ecosystem, natural choice for operators operating in this field to actually operate from water. And that will, will, will sum up all the ingredients that we already have here on Malta to make the blockchain island a reality. But uh, I don't think we will stop there. Uh, then we are already seeing then that this authority uh, will then widen up the scope to eventually go into the field of Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and then, then we're speaking at, at, at another level.